Hey guys welcome back to my YouTube channel next coming cars 2025 Genesis GV80 and GV80 coupe first look, more power, less roof subtle changes outside here next to the new coupe body style hide big changes within. Kristen Lee writer Alexander Staklosa writer manufacturer photographer No. 15. 2023 Don't waste too much time peering at the fresh and for 2025 Genesis GV80 SUV and the current only of the two are virtually indistinguishable from the outside. You'll more easily pick out the new GV80 coupe model that joins Genesis GV80 midsize luxury SUV family. Like the Mini Coupe SUVs from German luxury brands, think of the BMW X6. Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe, Audi Q8, the GV80 Coupe essentially is a regular GV80 with a more dramatic roof line that plunges lower over the cargo area than the roof on the more upright, regular GV80. You think this exercise in new vehicle coverage is a waste of your time, just wait. The GV80 and new GV80 Coupe, which were just revealed for the North American market in Los Angeles are getting big changes within, in place of today's mix of analog gauges and a 14.5-inch central display, the new SUVs get a fresh, single, humongous display stretching across half the dashboard. This new 27-inch OLED screen encompasses the driver's gauge cluster as well as the central infotainment functions and one, much like the similar wider screens landing in luxurious stuff like Cattle Access Claude and the Lucid Air sedan. Additionally, check out the also new this year a crystal shift knob. So, how about that coupe? Previewed earlier this year by Wild, bright orange concept car with a rolled cage and other ambitiously sporty touches, for a mid-size luxury SUV, at least, the GV80 Coupe is finally here. The production model, while tamer than the bonkers concept car, is definitely positioned as the sportier option, with exclusive 20 and 22-inch wheel designs in a powerful optional engine that isn't offered on the regular GV80. Where all GV80s, coupe or otherwise, come with either a turbocharged 2.5-liter, 300-horsepower four-cylinder engine or a twin-turbo, 3.5-liter, 375-horsepower V6, the coupe offers a 409-horsepower twin-turbo 6 with electric supercharging and a 48-volt mild hybrid setup. Find the car near you Genesis also gifts the top dog, supercharged GV80 coupe with the launch control function, as well as a sports plus drive mode on top of the regular version sport modes. Drivers are also given access to on-screen readouts for oil temperature, real-time torque, and turbo boost pressure, and can also customize the brake pedal feel. There is also an active sound design feature that manipulates the exhaust noise, though it isn't yet clear whether this is by way of mechanical flaps in the exhaust itself, or via augmented noise piped in through the interior audio speakers. What else has changed? For the detail-oriented, here's a quick overview of the exterior changes to the GV80. The front bumper intakes are reshaped slightly and there is a new skid plate design underbiting from below. From behind, you'll notice the GV80S could now get flush fit exhaust outlets that poke out from the bumper surface, much like on the smaller GV70 SUV. Both GV80S are available in a plethora of paint colors so 12 for the SUV, and 13 for the coupe along with 5 interior color combinations, 3 of which are new, earth brown. Bordeaux Brown, and Glacier White. As on the current GV80, we expect these colors to extend throughout the cabin, even to out-of-the-way panels that most automakers render from a consistent color regardless of the primary interior color to save costs. Think of lower door panels in the areas below your hip linea usually these stay the same color, either tan or black. Even if the door panel trim, seat upholstery, and parts of the dashboard are offered in multiple colors, trust us, 
Once you see the GV80S commitment to thorough cabin coloring, you'll wonder why other automakers don't have more fun with this stuff.